Good morning, everybody. Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Tropper. February 23rd. Thank you, everybody that showed up for my live last night. I did it out at Pete's to save gigabytes and forgot to turn my damn Wi-Fi on. So, yeah, it went right on my account. So, being the computer genius that I am, right? So, happy belated birthday to Chris's boy, Samuel. He was six on Friday. Happy birthday, Samuel. And one more birthday wish. Today is uh, my little brother, Buddy Lady's birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Have a great day, you guys. I'm all anticipating a good day. It's minus 15 out right now. Beautiful day. Let's go pick up some dogs. I tried my hand at a Lynx snare pen and it just did not work. So time to get this out of here and uh, set up for some dogs with these rams. Enough wasting time over here. I had uh, one of those deer kills closed off, had to change the snare, it was uh, breakaway broken so it was probably a deer or a moose, it melted so much yesterday it's hard to tell what tracks are today but we are going to pull these out of here, might as well pick that box up too, I haven't even checked it yet, let's do that while I'm here, see if I can keep my shadow out of this. That's yeah, empty. Get it over here. I will have no trouble finding a place for these rams. There's birds and rabbits and stuff coming in here, but no lynx. Ravens up in the sky, circling around, waiting for me to bugger off. They can have that rabbit. Alrighty. Well, we're just off the lake here at the Crown come up on one here I got two over here the other one's not disturbed but this one's not sprung but we got us a bunny and it looks like everything left him alone oh he's nice and fresh beauty there's some uh, supper tonight that'll be good I'll have to change this I'll have to change the snare but that's not a big deal I'll put it right back where it was Huh, beautiful. Just like that. That's why I don't, uh, I like the Wolf Masters better than these Coyote ones, because you can get your ram a little farther away, but that's a good one. If uh, Coyote's running down here, we'll have a Coyote next time, so. Nice and fenced off. It looks like a pretty well-used trail. See what happens, right? Well, we're at this cross where we caught the dog the other day, one of them. Caught him over there at that log. No coyote bacon left. You can see there's lots of ravens and magpies here. I see this open loop there. And an open loop there. Not seeing any tracks. All right, well, we'll give it another. Check that one across here. I got to walk in because you can't see it from the trail either, so. I got bait in the sled, but I don't want to throw stuff down just for the birds, so. And I see a big loop down there, so. Nothing here either today. Well, I appreciate having a rabbit for dinner, but that ain't going to pay for the gas. We better start picking up a dog or two here right away. Oh, well. We're coming up to a uh, couple more rams in the center here, and then we're on the east side. I got. Uh, I want to put a couple more down on that where we caught that one by the bottom jaw the other day. And on the east side... Rounding the corner of that bush, I want to put one in. There's a real hard trail there. Hits everything, though, deer, moose. So it's not a jump stick. It's going to be a log because a moose just runs right through those sticks. Well, we got another sprung one here. It looks like deer. Huh, didn't even open all the way. That's no bloody good. Well, I guess it's all right because it was a deer, but... 
huh, make it up again right here or move it? I kind of like it right here in this little bush on the one side, so I'll put it back where it was. That's three wasted snares today. There's about uh, eight or nine bucks. Not to mention gas. We're going to have to catch something to make this day pay. We're coming up to our last uh, trap here in the crown. We got a squirrel by the tail here. I'm going to see if I can release him. I don't know why. I just don't feel like killing him. He's not a target. I'll let him go. He uh, did a number on my box, but yeah, he's by the tail. So I'm going to be hands right in the way there. I hope he doesn't bite me, so we're going to give it a shot anyway. There's one happy little guy. He's fine. Tried to bite me, but I had my big mitts on, so it's all good. Stay out of my damn box. We're at the cow bush. I didn't do a warm up today. It's not that cold out, but having a bit of deja vu going here again. Ram's still in place there, but look at this. Ha! Ah, damn it. He ate his face off. Well, isn't that special? I was just here not that long ago. I'm going to save that one for Dean anyway, because uh, you don't leave their bottom lip on anyway, so he might be able to do something with that. Huh. I thought he broke the pail when I was walking up, but... I'm not sure what ate him went that way anyway. Generally, I would guess birds, but if it was birds, you'd see their tracks all over here, so I don't know what ate them. He's not very frozen. I'll have to get him in the deep breeze, so. Another little trash panda, though. I, uh, I'll check the other side after I make this up. Nothing there. Well, you know, the fur is still good, but... She's been really warm lately. It's not so much today. It's not melting today, but... Man, I'm gonna have a hard time getting around if it melts anymore. It's already tough. I just came through a grass field almost behind me, but I'll see if I can spin around and show you. A lot of grass back there. And that soil is so black, once the sun hits it, it melts like crazy. Even on a day when it's not below zero, it'll melt. It absorbs all the light. Huh. Oh well. Keep moving forward, right? We're in this big culvert now. I stuck a box here. No rat trap. Some bait and skunk fire. It's got the conibear on it. We're gonna try for mink now. We're running out of time for them. I actually have to duck. There's so much ice in the bottom in here now. That's probably a six and a half or a seven foot culvert, so. But, we're fired here again, and I see our chains melted into the ice. No problem. So we will make this back up. The other side's all ready to go. Don't know what it was. Hmm. It's hard to say, it could be mice, that rat trap could have set the conifer off, I don't know, I don't know why it would be way out here though, but, oh well, we'll get to that Tom and Kim bush next. We're at the Tom and Kim bush here, I don't think there's any meals left there, very little on the backbone it looks like. See, we had a little bit of bad luck here. The way he sidestepped there, it looked like he uh, hit it high. Hmm. Oh well, we'll set it back up. 
they're still going through here that bait and everything so I got one more down there I can't see anything but I'll go check it out when I'm done this one and then we got the four in the box around the big walk in the bush but we're gonna stop that big walk in the bush I'm gonna pick up what we got back there that's such a long walk and it's going to the west side of this bush over here because the other day I took a drive around there and uh, there's some trails going in and out nothing major but better than here so we'll try and shake some stuff up today here we already have sh shaken up a lot of things so we shall continue shaking and moving we're at these culverts here well, just a mouse in this one in the rat trap I pulled the rat trap out of that one from Tom and Kim's bush put it in this one hopefully get that mink one of my guys subscribers said that he uh, he thinks that the mink are scared of the rat trap so we're gonna try it out he said he catches lots of weasel with the rat trap but the mink might be scared of it so let's check it out we still got it ah oh, crap what's the day 23rd like six more days three more checks to catch a mink and then all these boxes got to come out so we are depending on Sawyer's Cross again today for a dog we got our we're not getting skunked with that trash panda but I still want a dog see you guys over there I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but there is a red line there and that's spray paint that's the landowners helping me out showing me where their property starts and I would be willing to bet in the end of the quarter there's another one up there huh I know the landowners are all pulling for me in the R and there's the other one so everything in between these lines belongs to Paul Kioski I really appreciate uh, the lines and you know guys trying to help you instead of being little rodents and squealing like piggies so this is awesome like I said I, I can look around this country do a whole swing here I'm sorry I'm not a farmer I can't tell you where one quarter begins and one quarter ends I don't care how many maps you give me I mean I'm just doing what I can with what I got and going by what people say and if you want to convict me and I mean geez people that uh, with criminal records walk right across our border for crying out loud and you want to charge me there's a word for people like you all right Sawyer's Cross well we're at Sawyer's here nothing in the rams this is definitely an elk jumping over and he's kicking the bloody snare and flipping it so I think what we're gonna do is put one in on take it out of there and put it down that trail going through there just every time I come here there you know they when they jump that they kick the damn log and whatnot and if I had a coyote ram to put in there I could make it a little better but that's a wolf master so I will move it just the trash pan of the day. We'll get home and cook that rabbit and some eggs and, I don't know, bacon and... Well, we'll see what we're going to cook up there. I'll see you guys at home. Oh, guys, we're back at the house. At, uh, oh, I left that rabbit leg hanging there. We uh, threw that trash pan in the deep breeze for Dean. I skinned that rabbit up and took the ass end off it for breakfast. I'm going to go up and cook some eggs and rabbit and mushrooms, onion, a whole bit. Put some cheese on it. Uh, not much to do tonight. you got to flip a couple. i got three to skin. Uh, I think i got four in the deep freeze. All ready to go. Two need to have showers. Kind of a disappointing day. That's the sixth time this year that we did, went out and didn't catch a dog. So... I guess out of 70 some trips out this year, or 80 trips out, six ain't bad. We're still at like 90 some percent. 
Oh, well, I moved a lot of stuff around. That Tom and Kim bush only has the two rams in it, that dead deer. And the rest I went around the east and the south of that bush, and I found a couple of really good trails. And for as warm as it was yesterday, to find trails with dog tracks on them like that, yeah, they're probably being used. So I'm going to pull that rabbit leg down and go cook something to eat. And you guys... Keep moving forward.